Hey guys, so autumn is here. This is good in a way because it used to be quite hot and now the temperatures dropped a lot, but on the other hand, it also started raining a lot and I don't usually like going outside, especially when it heavily rains as it did in the past few days. Anyway, I just woke up, brushed my teeth, made my bed and now I'm about to head to the kitchen to make my morning drink, which is green tea, honey and lemon. I don't drink this for the taste it has even though that is great as well because of the honey but for the longevity health benefits it's supposed to have it should help you not get cancer and diabetes today is gonna be a pretty fast paced day as it usually is i have to code on quite a few tasks that i got assigned at work i also need to get the workout in vacuum with my Dyson the Hall apartment and make a healthy lunch in the oven. I am making this video in case you are someone who thinks about becoming a software engineer and you might want to take a glimpse into the life of someone who already does this for a living and you'll see for yourself what it is like. So without further ado, let's get into it. While I code the way, if you'd like to someday become a software developer like me, you might also be interested in Brilliant. Brilliant is an interactive learning platform that's perfect for anyone who wants to deepen their understanding of key concepts in programming, math, data analysis and more. What I love about Brilliant is how it builds your understanding from the ground up through hands-on problem solving, the kind of learning that sticks with you, much like the structured education I received at university. For those of you interested in refining your problem solving skills, Brilliant is a fantastic resource. I've just completed their thinking in code course that develops your mind to start thinking like a programmer. It will also run you through all the essential coding elements from loops to variables and randomness. It's designed so you can can start building programs from day one using their drag and drop editor, which makes complex notions much easier to grasp. I wish I had this visual representation showing how things work behind the scenes back in the days when I was starting out with programming. They are always adding new courses and lessons. It's a really, really fun way to learn new skills and you can do it from as little as 10 minutes a day. You can check out all of their courses for free for a full 30 days over on brilliant.org forward slash antitrice coding or click on the link in the description to get started. Plus you'll get 20% off an annual premium subscription. Now after taking care of the most important tasks that I have for the day, firstly in the morning, because that's where I feel I am the most productive and effective, I usually get to vacuuming the apartment and then hopping into my full body calisthenics workout. Even though this takes some time away, I prefer to do it as it creates a much cleaner space where I can work in and be more productive throughout the day and especially now since I autumn arrived, I tend to suffer from allergies and sneeze a lot, so cleaner floors might help me get more focused and in the zone while coding. Nowadays, I tend to only work out from home doing full body calisthenics workouts. I do a couple of push-ups, pull-ups and squats mainly. I found these to be the best bang for your buck, so it is very time efficient and I then can maintain my muscle mass over the long term. I focus on form and try to do this as slowly and as mindfully as possible. Here are a few shots with me executing these and also the stats of the entire workout which was 50 minutes long I think.
Moving on, I tried to have a very healthy lunch and I oven cooked some chicken breast trying to not get it very dry and also some vegetables that I roasted in the oven as well. No oil, no salt, just plain whole foods. Alongside them, I forgot I also added an entire avocado. So I also upgraded these days my work desk at home. I bought from Amazon Germany these FlexiSpot E5, I think it's called, standing desk. I only bought the legs actually. I still have my old IKEA desktop. As you can see, these are some wear signs on it. It has these buttons, it goes up, down, and a lot of preset positions. You can also add reminders to stand up. So that is really great. I really think sitting down for it long, it's not that healthy and there are a lot of studies to back this up. Besides this, I also bought this Xiaomi monitor lamp, which should be a replacement for the BenQ Halo Bar. That one is much more expensive than this. This is pretty high quality, especially for the price. I think it's half the price and it does a really great job. It should lower your eye strain while you look at the monitors. It also come with this wireless remote that you can use to adjust the brightness and also the warmth of the light. And lastly, I bought this monitor arm that I mounted on my desktop and it is really sturdy. I can use it to move my monitor closer, higher, lower, and I can also rotate it like 90 degrees to see more code. I might buy another monitor and another one of these stands and have one monitor landscape and one portrait to see more code on one and the application that I work on on the other. So all these will make my life much easier and actually healthier. If you have any additional questions about any of the items, let me know in the comments below. Usually, by the time I end my working day, I am pretty tired, so I try to relax by either watching a movie or playing some games on my console. But with this being said, I really hope this video set some expectations for you on what an average day in the life of a remote software developer might look like. Until next time, cheers and happy coding!